Cooking. This is a lovely house. Thank you, Carol. We call it home. It's very close to work, isn't it? Yes, it is. I always walk to work, even when it rains. I usually take the bus. It takes so long. How long does it take? Oh, it takes about twenty minutes. That is a long time. Well, have some cake. This is delicious. Do you bake all of your own cakes? Yes, I usually bake something at the weekend. I like having sweets in the house. You're a wonderful cook. Thank you. It's nothing really. I never cook. I'm just hopeless. My husband David usually does all the cooking. Do you often go out to eat? Yes. When he doesn't have time to cook, we go out to eat somewhere. There are some wonderful restaurants in the city. Too many. You can eat at a different restaurant every day. Monday Chinese, Tuesday Italian, Wednesday Mexican, on and on. A chat with a neighbor. Hi, Henry. It's been a long time since we saw each other last. What have you been up to? Hi, Tom. It's great to see you again. I've been away on business. Really? Where did you go? Well, first I flew to New York for two meetings. After that, I flew to Atlanta. Where I had to make a presentation at a company conference. It sounds like you've been busy. Yes, I've been very busy. It's good to be home again. What have you been doing lately? Oh, nothing much. I've been working in the garden these past few days. Alice has been away for the past two weeks visiting her relatives in Chicago. I didn't know she has family in Chicago. Yes, that's right. She was born in Chicago and lived there until she went to college. We met at a university in California. How long have you lived here in Colorado? We've lived here for over ten years. We moved here in 1998 because I had a new job as a sales representative. Have you lived in the same house since you arrived? No. First, we lived in a condo in downtown Denver. We moved here four years ago. We've lived on the street for four years, and they've been the happiest years of our lives. Yes, my wife Jane and I love this street. And how long have you lived in your house? We've only lived here for two years. That's strange. It seems like you have lived here longer than that. No, we moved here in 2006. How time flies! I have to agree with you on that. It seems like yesterday that I graduated from college. I can't believe I've been working for more than twenty years. I've been working for more than thirty years. I'm going to retire soon. Really? You don't look a day over fifty. Thank you. You're a great neighbor. No, really. Well, I have to get going. Work is waiting for me. Have a good day. You too. Glad to have you back in the neighborhood. Asking and giving directions in English. Could you go to the supermarket and buy some food? There's nothing to eat in the house. Sure, but I don't know the way. We've just moved in. I'll give you directions. Not to worry. Thanks. At the end of the street, take a right. Then drive two miles to White Avenue. After that, it's another mile to. Let me note this down. I won't remember it. Okay. First, take a right at the end of the street. Got it. Next, drive two miles to White Avenue. Two miles to White Avenue. After that, take a left onto Fourteenth Street. Left onto Fourteenth Street. The supermarket is on the left. Next to the bank. 
How far is it after I turn on to 14th Street? It's not far, maybe about 200 yards. Okay. Great. Is there anything special you want? No, just the usual. Well, if you could get some beer that would be great. Okay, just this once. Having a hard time finding a job. Hi Peter, how are you doing these days? Oh, hi Mark. I'm not doing very well, actually. I'm sorry to hear that. What seems to be the problem? You know I've been looking for work. I can't seem to find a job. That's too bad. Why did you leave your last job? Well, my boss treated me badly. And I didn't like my chances of advancing in the company. That makes sense. A job without opportunities and a difficult boss isn't very attractive. Exactly. So, anyway, I decided to quit and find a new job. I sent out my resume to more than 20 companies. Unfortunately, I've only had two interviews so far. Have you tried looking online for a job? Yes, but so many of the jobs require moving to another city. I don't want to do that. I can understand that. How about going to some of those networking groups? I haven't tried those. What are they? They're groups of people who are also looking for work. They help each other discover new opportunities. That sounds great. I'll definitely try some of those. I'm glad to hear that. So, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm shopping for a new suit. I want to make the best impression possible at my job interviews. There you go. That's the spirit. I'm sure things will look up for you soon. Yes, you're probably right. I hope so. Speak to a customer service representative. Hello, Big City Electricity. How may I help you today? I'm calling concerning my electricity bill. May I have your account number? Certainly, it's 4392107. Thank you, is this Mr. Peters? Yes, this is Mr. Peters. Thank you, what can I help you with? I think I've been overcharged for the past month. I'm sorry to hear that. Why do you think we charged you too much? The bill is 300% higher than last month. I'm sorry to hear that. Let me ask you a few questions and then I'll see what I can do. Okay, thank you for your help. Of course, thank you for calling this to our attention. Now, how much do you usually pay for your electricity? I usually pay about $50 a month. Thank you. And how much did we charge on this bill? $150. I can't understand why. I'm sorry. There certainly seems to be a mistake. I'll contact a service representative to come out and check your meter. Thank you for your help in clearing this up. Of course. Is there anything else that I can help you with today? No, thank you. That would be all. Okay. Thanks for calling, Mr. Peters, and I hope you have a good day. You too. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my videos. Please, subscribe to Learn English with Lucy channel.